Funnily enough, it was all pretty positive uh, because you're surrounded by very positive people. Yeah. Although they admitted they didn't know what it was. Eventually, I had this, this MRI scan um, that revealed uh, this cyst on my spinal cord. And it was in that. That was scary because, you know, you don't believe them when they say it's a cyst. You think it's going to be something worse. Is it going to be a tumor? Is this the end? And uh, I sorted that out very quickly in my head. Did you? Yeah, I said it's not going to be the end. There's no, there's no point in, in giving into it. They're, I'm surrounded by positive people, and they reckon they can do something with it. Yes, there's a chance, as David O'Brien, the doctor, says, there's a chance it mightn't work. But which chance do you take? Yeah. Do you say, okay, you do it, or find me somebody else, right. or I'll leave it, it'll be grand. So I let them do it, and it was fine. After um, the operation, you felt... Well, you see, there was no pain. Yes. And this was the extraordinary okay. thing. There was no pain at all. Uh, it was a paralysis. And that was scary because I have two grandchildren now. And I, I, that was the scariest part, is that I'm not going to be able to chase around after him. I'm not able to chase around after <laughs> him anyway. He's two and a half. But, um, and what sort of a window did the surgeon have to, to, to try and f get at you? They needed to do it within 10 or 12 hours. Right, okay. Because if the paralysis... Persisted. Was, persisted for much longer than that. There was a danger that they, they wouldn't be able to reverse it all.